What am I doing? Wait, you mean besides having a beer? You know, a nice fresh Corona? Because I ain't afraid of no coronavirus. You hear me? Sponsorship's available. You hear me, Corona? Heard you're not doing so well. But what am I doing besides sitting here and drinking a beer? Um, I'm letting my plants harden off. What's hardening off, you say? Well, it's a process of bringing your plants outside and getting them used to the uh, conditions that are out here. Temperature changes, wind changes, light changes, sun changes. Um, there's a lot of questions that come around hardening off plants like, do I have to harden off plants? And if you watch a bunch of gardening videos, everybody will say, absolutely, you have to harden off your plants. Well, that's not necessarily true if you planted them outside in the first place. Um, it's not necessarily what I do, but I do have a lot of plants that I am going to plant outside. I'm going to direct sow into the soil like a all my root vegetables, my carrots, my beets, um, you don't want to disturb them. They will not do good if you try to, you know, seed them inside and then bring them outside. So then the other question is, is well, what plants do you have to uh, harden off? And the reality is, is you have, to, you have to harden them all off. If you planted them inside and then you go and you bring them outside, yeah, my son just came home. Uh, you have to harden them off. Um, plants are remarkably close to people and other animals if you just know how to look at the similarities. Um, people go to the beach, right? And if you're really pale and you go to the beach and you spend eight hours on the beach, what happens? You get sunburned really bad, okay? Now, the people that already have a tan because they went last week for a couple hours or maybe the week before for a couple hours now they can spend eight hours at the beach and not have to worry about getting burnt it's the same exact thing with plants it's really that simple well now you ask well how do i harden off plants um there's a lot of different philosophies and there's a lot of different ways um some people believe Bring all your plants out to direct sunlight for 15 minutes. Bring them back inside. Then the next day, bring them back outside for a half hour. Then bring them back inside. As you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six flats here with over 30 something plants in each one of them. I, I can't do that every day. That, that would be ridiculous. It's, it's a chore to bring these in and out, in and out, in and out. So you can't really see it right now, but when I first brought these plants out, you know, my son, okay, east is there, west is there, south is there, and north is there. So my son comes right up over this horizon, and I get a full day of sun until about now. But of course, as the summer comes, it's going to get a lot longer until it gets blocked by not just my neighbor's house, but the actual neighbor farther away. So it's, uh, I don't know, like 5, 30, 6 o'clock here right now. And I'm finally starting to lose the sun. But it had really nice sun in this area. But I, I put them here intentionally because I can time exactly how long these plants are in the sun just by gauging where my shadow is on. So what I did was I came outside and I looked at my property and I saw okay, this line in my yard is starting to grow a shadow at a certain time. And I could predict where to put my plants. To this aluminum is actually my one o'clock in the afternoon line. At one o'clock, the shadow starts to the left of that post or, or that line that I've drawn on the ground. And to the right of it, that shadow keeps on creeping, keeps on creeping until it gets all the way over to the fence as the sun goes over my house. So when I'm hardening off my plants, this is what I was talking about here. I put my plants on the right side of that, and then I know at 1 o'clock, they're going to start to get less and less and less sun. This is what I'm talking about. 
putting your plants in the right spot for hardening them off and controlling the amount of time that they're in the sun. If he's out in this spot any earlier, I can actually put them in a spot on the other side of my yard later on in the week that gets more sun later on. And what I want to do is I want to try to avoid peak sun hours at all costs. That they, rule of thumb is between one and four o'clock. Uh, but I found in my yard, it's closer to almost 1145, 12 o'clock to four o'clock. Uh, peak sun really where, where it's like right over my head and it's just beaming down is right around noon. For, uh, and I'm in 7A, New Jersey, mid New Jersey. Um, and, and that's where the peak sun is. So what I want to do is I either want to get the plants out before that peak or after that peak. And what I'm going to do is like today I timed it out that they would be in the sun for about two hours. And it, like I said, it's a late afternoon sun. So uh, it's, it's not that harsh. Um, it's not beaming down. It's actually a, a nice bright blue sky today. So they're still getting a little bit of sun. And this is going to help my plants get that tan just like people when they go to a beach. Um, I'll bring you in closer and I'll actually take close up pictures and I'll post them here and I'll also post them on my Instagram. Yes, guys, I do have an Instagram now um, and I do have a Facebook as well. I'm going to put those links in, in, in the description and I'll try to throw them right up on the screen right here. And I'm trying to work on some other social media outlets so I could really just spread this around. But anyway, I'm going to take some pictures of it. I keep a photograph. Which we want in love caught in your eyes Waiting for the sunrise I barely even knew who you were What did you do? I didn't care Cause you were perfect, I swear But somebody told me that it's over I know it's true You made me happy for a while on top of guys now I don't know you you don't know me too I remember bleeding times when we watched this park so far now I don't know you um, is there anything else to add to yeah I guess um how do you know when your plants are hardened off um talk to your plants they're gonna tell you um, I'm gonna take pictures and you're gonna see that a, a lot of these leaves um, they're very thin, they, uh, they don't have a lot of color to them, they're not very green. Of course, I have not fertilized these at all yet. I think I'm going to give them a little bit of uh, worm casting tea today with some rainwater because uh, they do need, I can feel their light, even though I put a lot of water into these last night. I can feel their light. I'm going to water them today, and I think I'm going to add a little bit of warm compost, which should be just enough nutrition to get them through this period of hardening, maybe perk some of these plants back up. Um, how long should you harden your plants off for? Well, the rule of thumb, you know, again, is usually two hours, four hours, six hours until you can get to eight hours. Um, but there are exceptions to those rules. If you happen to get a day that is uh, not hazy, remember you still get sunburn at the beach if it's hazy, but if you get a day that's overcast, like some serious clouds, but the sun peaks through a little bit, feel free to leave your plants out all day long and something like that. But like, you know, come out every half hour, make sure they're responding. If you see signs of scorch, okay, that's what they call, it. we get sunburned, they get scorch. Okay, if you see signs like that, immediately bring them back in. Um, what happens if you have a greenhouse? Well, yeah, the greenhouse plastic does block some of the rays, but a lot still get through. So even if you're going to take your plants out and put them in a greenhouse, you still have to harden them off. You still want to try to do that, you know, two, four, six, eight, until you can get a full 10 hours. Once you can get a full 10 hours and it doesn't drop below freezing at night, that you don't have any fear uh, of a frost killing your plants, feel free to leave them out all night. Um, right now, I'm still, even though we've had a fantastic week, uh, basically, it was in the 60s, uh, mid 60s actually this week. And, and uh, if you saw me shoot my video from Sunday, which was February 29th, it was 21 degrees. <laughs> so that cold snap could come back at any time. 
Uh, thankfully, uh, this whole winter, I don't think we went below zero. So I hope I gave you enough information uh, on hardening off your plants. I hope it was educational. If uh, you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will do my best to respond. I do say that the best way to reach me is uh, GardenStateGrowing uh, at gmail.com. Uh, I will do my best to filter through, even though I do get a lot of questions and a lot of responses, and I can't get back to everybody. Um, if you like that this video, please hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button if you want to see some more content like this. And hit that notification bell to make sure that you get notified every time I upload a video. Thank you so much for coming out. I have another video to film right after this on making my agar agar petri dish uh dishes for mushroom culture so i gotta get going with that and i've got to get these plants back inside and i want to enjoy my corona i keep a photograph in which we want love caught in your eyes waiting for the sunrise i barely even knew I didn't care, cause you were perfect, I swear But somebody told me that it's over, 